Pioneer SPPK52F, is simply the best sounding. The quest for high quality home audio can get esoteric in a hurry, with speakers that are priced more like a car and $4,000 speaker cables with counter spiral geometry, whatever that means. For those with a more practical approach, and reasonable budget, there's the Pioneer SPPK52FS. For $630, you get the full-size 5.1 home theater speaker system that delivers the kind of outstanding sound quality that's competitive with systems twice as expensive. With two tower speakers up front, a jumbo center channel, 100 watt subwoofer, and two bookshelf surround speakers, it's hard to believe you're paying just a little over $100 per speaker for the package. The big drawback to the SPPK52FS is its size, and, to a lesser extent, its style. The speakers are unapologetically large, especially compared with lifestyle speaker systems like the Boston Acoustic Soundwear XS5.1, $500. The black with grain vinyl finish isn't ugly, but it's far from the furniture-grade finish on speakers like the, more expensive, Aperion and Miss 4T Higher Bride ST. $1,350. If the Pioneer's looks and size aren't your style, we recommend the outstanding, albeit not as powerful sounding, Energy Take Classic 5.1, $400, which remains our editor's choice for budget home theater speakers. But if you've got the space for the Pioneer SPPK52FS, they're the best sounding speakers we've heard at this price. The six-piece Pioneer SPPK52FS comes with a pair of SPFS52 towers, one SPC22 center channel speaker, two SPBS22LR surround speakers, and a SW8MK2 subwoofer. The entire system was designed by Andrew Jones, a man best known in the audiophile community for his ultra-high and tad speakers that sell for nearly $80,000. We told you home audio can get expensive, the SPPK52FS system is a significantly revised version of the SPPK21BS, which was one of our favorite budget surround systems last year. The new speakers have new tweeters, woofers, crossover networks, cabinets, and speaker grills. The subwoofer received only minor changes. The SPFS52 tower speaker sports a 1-inch soft dome tweeter and three 5.25-inch structured surface woofers. Most budget towers have single or double woofers. The three woofers base output is augmented with two ports on the back of the speaker cabinet, so the SPFS52s shouldn't be placed too close to a wall. Unlike a lot of the budget surround sound systems we review at Connect. Note that these are full-size tower speakers, measuring 35.2 inches tall. The SPC22 center speaker has the same 1-inch tweeter, but two 4-inch woofers, and two rear ports. It's unusually large for a budget price system, coming in at 18.25 inches wide by 7.2 inches high and 8.4 inches deep. The top and bottom panels are curved front to back and it comes with two small cradles to provide a stable base for shelf mounting over or under your TV. The cradles also allow the SPC-22 to be set up to fire straight ahead, or angled up or down to a small degree so you can aim the speaker's sound toward the main listening position. The SPPK-52FS performed extremely well, sounding like a much more expensive system. We had to remind ourselves again and again of the Pioneer's very affordable price tag. It sounded fully competitive, and in some ways better than our reference Aperion Audio Intimus 4T Hybrid SD that costs more than twice as much. On the whole the Aperion's tonal balance was richer and warmer, the Pioneer's leaner, but more detailed. Then again, when we just listened to dialogue from the two center channel speakers, the considerably larger Pioneer SPC22 center was more naturally balanced, and less boxy than the Aperion 4C center speaker.